Hi, today I'm going to review the Celebration Slime Kit by Elmer's. You, it has um, ingredients so you can make five slimes, five glues, and five different activators. So I'm, it's going to be really cool. Okay, so we're just gonna lift this top off the glues and activators. Okay, so the first thing is the washable color glue and it's pink and we have a blue glow in the dark glue and a teal metallic glue and next we have the color changing glue from yellow to red and we have confetti slime activator some a bottle of silver glitter glue then we have the metallic slime activator a bottle of crunchy slime activator and a bottle, another bottle of confetti slime activator and some glow in the dark. Okay, so now the box is empty. Let's get started to slime making. So I'm just gonna follow the recipe they have on the back because they say it should, um, what do you call it, um, be the same for most glues and activators from Elmer's. So I'm gonna do get my bowl and I'm gonna use the metallic glue and this glow in the dark activator. Activator. So the instruction says to pour the whole bottle of Elmer's glue out. And then we're supposed to add one teaspoon, I mean tablespoon, of the activator. So I'm just going to get my spoon for mixing and we're going to squeeze this whole thing out. So, oh, kind of hard to open, so I'm just try it there. Oh, actually I can. So, open it. That's a lot easier. But I actually realized that poor, um, squeezing out this glue is actually a lot is actually a lot harder than squeezing out the washable clear pink glue. Is the washable glue actually their washable clear glue comes out like water, but this is a bit har harder to squeeze out, and there is a lot of le of residue left in the bottle. So now I'm just gonna add the one tablespoon of the activator. Just use my scissors to open it. It's actually a lot easier when you have a little hole because everything doesn't come gushing it right out. So I have not a very level, but okay t tablespoon of the glow in the dark activator because I don't want too much. So it's still pretty sticky. It had like a activated case around it, but it was still very gluey in the middle. So I'm just gonna add more. And we're just gonna mix it up and um, like add a little bit as we go because I don't really want you don't want to over activate it by adding too much so it's still kind of sticky on the inside so we're just gonna keep mixing it so I stopped using tablespoons or measurements now but I'm just squeezing it in little by little still kind of sticky. It's like playing with hard, almost hardened glue. So we're just gonna activate this so it's not too sticky anymore and keep doing this. This is actually taking a lot more than one tablespoon, but we'll see. 
and some more activator. This is pretty stringy for when you take some from the bowl itself, but when you're working it with um, a hand, it actually gets um, a bit tense when you're just adding activator directly into that. So I would actually recommend um, adding activator to the whole thing and then mixing it. So now we're, I'm just kneading the piece that I already activated by itself. And it's really good and stretchy and fun to play with. And I'm just adding more and more into the already activated thing and adding a more activator. And just gonna keep adding this until we finish using the whole slime and everything is fully activated but not over activated. Just gonna keep doing this. More activator and keep like kneading it so the activator gets fully mixed in. It's actually really fun to play with this slime. Well, I guess slime should be fun to play with, honestly. So we're just adding more of the unactivated slime and adding some more activator to it. This is definitely more than one tablespoon. It's probably already a third tablespoon or maybe two and a half. So I'm just gonna keep um, kneading this and adding more activator like I said so. So I'm just taking some out of the crevices in my bowl and taking all the slime that's left, adding some more activator. Mixing with something with some small crevices in it, it could be very hard to get the glue and slime out of the little crevices. So we're just gonna clean up the rest of the bowl and the spoon. We're just gonna pick everything up. Okay, so there's still a lot of glue left in this bottle, so I'm just gonna try and take it out. Because I don't think you can see on camera, but there's still like an eighth of glue of the bottle still in there. So I'm just going to try and scoop it out with the back of the spoon, but that's obviously not working. So I'm going to fill this with water. And so I already shaked it, and I'm just going to try and squeeze it out. And my arm is kind of blocking it, but it's coming out very watery and not a lot of it. It only like... A fourth of the glue still in there is coming out. So I'm gonna just keep squeezing that. And so, and there's still a lot of glue in there. But uh, this is all I could get through. So just gonna scoop it out and put it into this line. And I'm gonna add some more activator and knead it in. So. Just scooping it out, dab it on the slime, and scoop the rest out. And then now we're adding a little bit of activator. We're just going to mix it in. So don't forget to store your slime in an airtight container so it doesn't dry out. I really like this Elmer Slime Celebration Kit because you can make five different unique slimes with however you want. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.